So as I was getting ready to do my El Tigre video yesterday, I realized that there was a Raphael spotlight showcase that I just completely missed. So I would like to take a look at that today because Raphael is one, my favorite Ninja Turtle, and two, because I guess I'm just gonna be doing character spotlight and character reveal reactions for the characters that I personally find a lot of interest in, and Raphael is one of those characters. So we are going to check out Raphael's character spotlight in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Hello, everyone. This is Ignacio Rodriguez from Fair Play Lab. Can other Today, characters wall we'll jump? Because I just saw him wall jump. And aggressive of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm gonna turn this Raphael. into a smidge. If any of those objectives oh, those all colors you, were sick. Then Raphael is probably the character for Also, you. it shows that they're gonna have Raphael more than one all color. Raphael is the fastest character in the game. Or which all Which is the perfect costume. for that in your face, full throttle style that he's known for. Fastest character in His the game. His fast, low commitment attacks are excellent for weaving in and out of danger. Or simply brute forcing an opening. Bro, he has where, <laughs> zero suit Samus up. One of the lightest characters in the game is a recipe for disaster if your opponent can catch. And one of the light, lightest characters in one the game. One of Ross's most important tools so is his neutral spectrum. So, Sheik and Shuriken. zero suit You'll Samus. You always have to throw yourself at the opponent when you have a projectile. And Shuriken is a great one. But to at least he has like a, a short projectile that he, he can throws use. Throws it slightly downwards, which is great when applying pressure at the ledge, extending combos, Ooh. or hopping around slightly. Oh, that's gonna be dirty. Head, looking for an opening. Raph's down special is a forward flip that will grab whichever opponent first gets in his way. And if you press the special again, he'll transition into a kick. Okay, that's cool. You also have the option of jumping out of the Zero attack Zero Susanna's. Well. <laughs> move, no, that's more Diddy Kong. Side Never special, mind. power drill. Makes for With excellent horizontal movement options. Side special. His sub special is a quick flip that ends with a powerful kick. It's a great move to use out of shield. Bro, Raph has a DP? Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of town. Raphael's moves are generally super quick, with a decent amount of range thanks to his weapons of choice. Dwell yeah, the side. His light down attack is great for poking at your opponent. If you hold down the attack button, you'll send them upwards, and if you quickly tap it instead, you'll send them at a shallow angle. Honestly, they have from. different properties. That's quick cool. Quick reflexes and even quicker thinking are key to taking control of this fearsome turtle. You'll need to be able to react on the fly to your opponent's options and make good use of each of his tools to maximize his combo game. Good juggles if running too. around at breakneck speed is your style, then pick up Raphael and hit and he's, him. <laughs> and he's got, um, my first thought was Weapon X because of the, uh, like the size, but that seems more like, uh, Young Link and Toon Link and prior to Ultimate, regular Link's, uh, Ultimate, which was the, the Triforce. So Raphael's pretty interesting. He kind of plays exactly how like i hope a character like Raphael would play which is like super aggressive in your face like you know close quarter combat like especially because of the side that's like the kind of weapon that you need to get close for um i like that he has a projectile that doesn't seem like it goes very far and it like explodes too and you can use that uh like the guy was saying for uh ledges so that way you can catch them on the ledge not like ledge to um or shuriken on the ledge to spike like that that looked true so that's gonna be really scary so you shouldn't be staying on the ledge for for too long and you can use it as a quick like get up that's gonna be so interesting he has a diddy kong side b and meta knight side b he has zero suit samus up special which is i guess maybe a dp as well uh, that's gonna be this he's gonna be a lot of fun like I said he's the turtle that I was looking forward to the most and like it kind of feels like he's gonna play in like the style that I also like playing which is kind of like that chic style um close quarters super fast but also super light at the same time so I'm really looking forward to this and also I'm sure that this was kind of confirmed a while ago but this is just me kind of seeing it but Raph has two alternate costumes which means that I'm assuming we're gonna be getting a lot more alternate costumes in this game which is gonna be really nice so those are my quick thoughts and reactions to the Raphael spotlight what are your thoughts on Raphael? and here's another question which ninja turtle are you looking forward to playing most comment below let me know what you think and as always if you like what you see and you want to see more don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to see more thank you all again so much for watching and i'll see you next time